Hi everybody and welcome back to VA Outdoor Sportsman. Today, if you have problems in your area with woodpeckers pecking holes in the sides of your house, you might want to stay tuned because we're going to fix a few of those holes today. Stay with us and we'll show you the quick and easy fix. I have a woodpecker hole in the side of my house. I have wood cedar siding. And we're up off the ground as you can see. I have a wood house, I live in the woods. So some of my basic tools that I'm going to be using today. I have my drill, I have three screws, I have a paint stir stick that I'm going to use. I'm going to fit it in the hole there. And a gardener, flex and fill, premium spackling paste. This stuff is some great stuff. It's ready and paintable within 30 minutes of filling the hole. But I love this stuff compared to some of the other stuff that's out there because it does hold the paint. It doesn't, uh, the paint doesn't flake off like some of the other products out there. As soon as it sets and you paint it, the paint flakes off quite quickly and easily. You can see right here where I've filled a hole from a prior year and it's still holding strong. It didn't crack, it didn't lose any of its paint. I have other holes on the side of the house that I filled that all turned out great. A lot better than that one that I just showed you. But I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna take care of this hole here. Just stick with us and see how it's done. So as you can see here, the paint stick fits inside the hole, that's key. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut off a section of the paint stick and I'm gonna put a screw I'm going to cut off a section about this long. I'll put a screw in the middle that I can hold on to and I'll feed it into this hole. And then I'll screw in on either side of the hole, pulling the stick from the back side out. And then I'll be able to spackle in the hole. Okay, so I've scored and snapped my piece of uh, a paint stir. And what I'm going to do, I put the screw in in the center at first and it didn't allow me enough to feed it in and pivot it into position. So I put the screw slightly to one end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and feed it into the hole. I will pivot it into place. And I will now hold it right here while I run a screw in through the siding and into the board on the back side. And as you can see, we'll be able to fill in that hole now, there will be something in the back side to hold the paste in place. I've also done it where I've put screws into this uh, backing board. That also allows for a little bit more for the, uh, the paste to hold on to. So I'm going to try, I'm 20 feet up off the ground, I'm going to try to set up the camera to give you all a view of what I'm going to do here. Get my drill, my second screw, start drilling into the siding, okay, and that pulled tight, but I want to now get that screw to pull in some, if possible. If not, I can still cover that with paste and that's fine. So now I'm gonna take this screw on the opposite side. I'm gonna screw on the opposite side. I'll put a couple screws on the inside here and that'll allow a little extra substrate for the paste to adhere to and hold on to. One other thing while I'm up here, in addition to filling this large hole, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a look at some potential future areas for the woodpeckers or insects might be getting into. I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity while I have the ladder out, I'm up off the ground, to fill in those areas. Typically they start to work on these knots because those are the areas that split and crack very easily and allow the insects to get in there and that's what those woodpeckers are going after. So anywhere where you see cracks, you want to make sure that you fill in. Do a good job. See another crack up there right at the base of this board. It's another place where insects can get in. Just want to take my time 
I'll ensure that I do the best job that I can while I'm up here. That'll hopefully avoid me having to get the ladder out later and doing this again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'll have to take a moment to apologize for our technical difficulties. I seem to have missed a lot of recording. Being 20 foot off of ground on a ladder didn't make things easy for production. So, with that note, let's get back to the show. Okay, and we're back. It's been about, I want to say about an hour and a half. The putty still hasn't fully set up, but the surface is dry enough to paint at this point, so we're ready to paint. As you can see, I went ahead and fixed a couple other spots. I'll go ahead and touch up those areas too while I'm up here. And as you've seen in past videos, I personally prefer using the bare exterior flat is what I'm using today, but I prefer this bare Ultra Premium Plus. This is paint and primer in one. And so far in past applications, just one coat is all I've needed and I've been all done. It does not peel on me yet. I haven't had any issues at all with it. It's been a very good paint. I can just touch up these spots. I've shown in past videos how to take and take paint chips in and have your paint chips photographically matched at the paint store. That's something that if you don't know what your paint color is, you can usually take a piece of trim or some small board off, take it into the paint store and have that paint matched. And it goes on nice and easy. One coat and I'm gonna be done. I thank you very much for watching. If you like these videos that I'm putting out, please let me know. Let me know if there's something else you'd like to see. Uh, I do all sorts of repairs all around the house. Currently living in this wood-sided house. Hoping to move soon though. So we'll see where we end up in the future. But for now, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed the video.